It's Jen's birthday. 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 Jen's birthday. Jen, we're trying to be quiet because we don't know. If she, I don't think she's here. I don't, yeah. I don't think she's here. No. Why don't she get here soon? Oh, she, yeah, because we may come in late today. She it's her birthday. She better can. not. We have we have breakfast pizza for nine thirty. I know. That's why I'm here. <laughs> <laughs> Fred, an important day is coming up. Yes. An important day. It's Jen's birthday. It's Jen's birthday. So we've been plotting and planning. Yeah. To make her feel special on mm -hmm. her day. Mm -hmm. We know a lot about Jen mm -hmm. and her interests and what she's passionate about and mm -hmm. things that make her tick. In the morning, we're going to start off the day with breakfast pizza. Then we have planned out a meat tasting. Mm -hmm. that will take place around our campus. And it's gonna be really fast and furious because there's gonna be lots of moving parts tomorrow. There's gonna be lots of meat being delivered to us. We're gonna have to be doing some set deck. We're gonna have to do all this without Jen figuring, figuring it out. It out. Yep. So we decided to theme the crawl after the three places that Jen has lived yep. that we know of. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> there is the Chicago room, uh -huh. and there's the Boston room, mm -hmm. and then there's going to be the LA room. LA room! Yes, and they all have different meats in them. That represent that place. Mm -hmm. And then they all have different wines that will go with the meat. So I sent Jen a series of text messages that say, hey, I have a request for you. It's called, don't go too crazy tomorrow at lunch food wise. Yeah. Somehow Jen has garlic bread and a taco. How? Oh, she just got in. We're getting Courtney your footage of Jen at the desk. So yes. She's doing it like very stealthily right now. Yes. Uh, Courtney's getting creep shots of Jen. It is 9.17. How did she already ruin her own birthday party? She's going to bring her in and remind her that we have a meeting. Okay, go meet Jen. You got Cheetos. No, with the taco and the garlic bread is a side. <laughs> it's a meal. It's a meal. It's a meal. <laughs> I like sides. Jen, what did we ask you to what do we ask you to do today? Not to eat? Anything else? And then what just happened? <laughs> I ate some free pasta. <laughs> And some free vegetables. I thought you said you just ate free Veg vegetables. You just there was like I was mostly vegetables. The thing about the vegetables. Did you also have? You also got chips. No, those were just there. <laughs> so right now I am in the props department, trying to make sure we have everything we need to make the rooms look as cute as possible. Okay, tablecloth. Let's go check on Kristen, see how she's doing. I have my tablecloth. Oh, hi. I'm trying to cover up the stains on this tablecloth. Because <laughs> there are many. It's happening or it's crappening, depending on how well I do. This is going to be the Chicago room. Okay. So we're going to have, I have a little piggy and I have like little uh, silver lanterns with stars for Cute. Chicago. And then you want to come see the Boston room? Yes. Oh, look at this Boston room. And also we have a little, we have a little lighthouse. What? And then we have like little plates. Well, the plates are being washed right now. So it's gonna be the Boston room. You're so good you at this. this. You were I did so it. good at this. I did, it. I did it. I did it. Now we just gotta hide these stains on this tablecloth. Okay, let's set up now. Kristen, you're, you're, you're setting up the charcuterie, but then I look over and... <laughs> we're about to start. And Jen is like about to go to Target. <laughs> Jen, I swear to God, if Jen goes to Target, I'm gonna fling myself on the ground and throw a two-year-old tantrum. We're gonna start now. We're gonna start now. All right. We're gonna start now, okay? Let's do it. Let's, Let's get do ready. It. Let's do it. I didn't mean to, I was just doing my dance. 
I can't put this fire back up inside me. For your birthday, we thought it would be fun to do a meat tasting crawl. Oh shit! And so we are doing different rooms based on places that you have lived in. And the first place Wait, is what? Boston. Boston. <laughs> Even though that wasn't first, but <laughs> Wait, this, yes. is, this is actually so nice, and I really don't know how to respond. This is. So too nice. Oh my god. For Boston, we uh, have roast beef sandwiches and a lobster roll, roll and, and fries and also some champagne because that goes with everything. Yes. So for those of you who don't know, Jen went to Emerson, mm -hmm. which is in Boston. So she spent not her formative years, but a, I would say I guess her formative, formative years. years. Yeah, you, know, sure. you formed something. Yeah. <laughs> I pop this mm -hmm. to Jen on her birthday. Yay. To Jen on her birthday. And it's your 25th. This is a milestone. Yeah, yeah. So you can rent a car. <laughs> Happy birthday, Jen. We're so honored to mm -hmm. be working with you and to also be able to call you a friend. Mm -hmm. We love you. And Jen. we did all this for a reason because you can get a lot to us. Yes. So. Cheers. Thank you, guys. I'm seriously like, I'm very like overwhelmed. This is really, oh, this is so nice. Oh, get your whelms in order because there's more. Oh, good. Oh, I love that. <laughs> Jen, you gotta try the lobster roll first. Okay. Obviously. That's really good. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's nice because it looks like you're toasted. Yeah. Oh, the bread is delicious. No, wait, try the bread. Oh shit, that's delicious. What is something that when we were 25, we wish somebody had told us? Or mm -hmm. something that we learned in our 25th year? At the very end of my 24th year going into 25, that's when I moved to LA. That's when I took the leap. Mm -hmm. So I think a big thing that I learned was just like, do it. Fucking do it. Take yeah. the leap if you can. I think when I was 25, I learned that like, no one else's opinions of me mattered. All I needed to do was make myself happy. Uh, when I was 25, I think I learned that no one was gonna make opportunities for me and that I was gonna have to make them for myself. That's when I learned that like it was it was just me and no one else. You have control over your strongest teammate and your strongest teammate is you. Because so always yourself. But you also have friends and you should let them do things sometimes. Yes. Which is a lesson I'm continuing to learn. Yes. I'm gonna find some napkins. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, Kristen. What? I'll find the napkins. <gasps> Ooh. I mean, I've lived in boring amount of places. I have lived in Boston, I have lived in Illinois, and I have lived in Los Angeles, California. Uh, if we're going in reverse chronological order, oh wait, which we aren't, because we started in Boston. Yeah. <laughs> uh, then it's gonna be California next. Okay. Okay. Right. I think it'll be California. Let's go. Let's go. This is where we met you. Yeah. In Los Angeles. Oh, so it was great. Right. It is Los Angeles. Yes. yes. Oh, cool. Um, and what do we have? Well, we're gonna go ahead. We're gonna go see. We're gonna go see. All right, next stop on our meat tour. Look at those tacos. Korean barbecue tacos. Oh my god. Charcuterie. Like burrata cheese. Oh my god, I love burrata. That's not the burrata somewhere else. Wow, I really wish I hadn't eaten the pasta earlier. You guys were right. You guys were 100 percent right. Should not have eaten the pasta. Jen, what do you think of the taco? Taco's delicious. Taco's really, really good. This is beef, right? Yeah. You can tell that there's a lot of flavors that I would associate with Korean food, but the actual like tortilla is really, really a nice compliment. Mm. Wow. Mm -hmm. Wow, this is really good. This is amazing. Guys, I am, again, very speechless. Thank you Aww. so much. Now, we should tell Jen something we want her to try in her 25th year. Yeah. yeah. Have you ever gotten like a really expensive facial? No. Have, have you ever gotten like a facial before? Mm -mm. <gasps> I'm thinking like things that like you haven't done that you think are um, it's time. 25. Mm -hmm. Yeah, facial time. When you get an idea to go on a trip, you should just go on it. You should not have a haw about it. You should just book mm -hmm. the tickets and just go. Because I think that like you want to go places, but you tend to be like, I don't know if I can do this, which is not what you sound like, but. <laughs> <laughs> it is. I feel like it's, mine is very typical for me. So we went on a trip for a lady like. Mm -hmm. We went. <laughs> Mm -hmm. And we uh, visited a vintage boutique, and oh. Jen bought a shirt from there that was really unique, really awesome, really so cool. out of her comfort zone. But I think something that she really enjoyed, and yeah. it, you ended up buying it. I did buy you it. Ended up yeah. buying it the next I day, see. and that kind of stuff I would love to see more of this year. I want to see. I want to see you like step step out. Yeah, you step should, outside of your little comfort zone. You should do more fashion. Stuff. More fashion stuff. Yeah, you, you have you pull it off. So you have an aesthetic. Yeah, no, yeah. I, I want to. I like. I like mm -hmm. looking nice. I'm gonna. I'm gonna lean into that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Jen. What are you looking forward to the most? About 25. Mm -hmm. I think like every year I try and take stock and be like, okay, where are the things that I'm happy about? Where are the things that I want to do better? Um, and I actually do really feel like the past few years have just been 
consistently moving on up like there's been improvement in some area of my life if not every area not and usually it isn't every area but it's mm -hmm. some areas mm -hmm. yeah i feel like i have like very strong friendships um so i just kind of want to maintain and i think my thing for the next year is just like work on being a better listener we annihilated la look at this look, look at, at it this. i want to finish their wine uh, okay cheers, cheers. happy Good birthday jen, jen jen to be able to rent a car <laughs> Which I've done before. I know, you keep telling that too, but it's still funny. Just the hands up. I'm a little drunk. Wait. And it's because I've had two glasses of wine and I've been running around all day. And champagne. And, and champagne. champagne. This is the last room and it's based on the place where you grew up. Aww. It's the Chicago room. Chicago! We're gonna have steak, but the steak didn't come. So the steak didn't come. <laughs> Can we talk about my beautiful place? Plating? Yes. My beautiful table setting. Ain't he cute? I'm actually really proud of this one. This is actually the this one. This is the one I'm the proudest of. It's really good. To Jen. To Jen. To Jen. To Jen. To Jen. I mean, yeah. she always be just the way she is. Oh, yeah. bitch. <laughs> the world has had 24, maybe 25 years of Jen, which we've been blessed with. Um, let's all go around and say our favorite person, Jen. Jen, um, you make everyone feel happy and comfortable and fun. You always bring the attention to the lighter sides of life, and I don't know what lady life would be without you. As you continue to surround yourself with people that are inspirational and that you look up to and that also just like empower you, I hope you all like understand how great of a person you are and how much like that. Mm. Like you are so gentle. Mm -hmm. So, but I look up to you. Mm. Oh, yeah, I do. Jen, seeing you is like one of the best parts of my day every day. Aww. Mm. That's it. Okay. Yeah. Hey, Jen. Jen. Hey. I don't want to bring my wine in. Mm. Aww, all of you guys, thank you so much. We love you. Oh wait, let's just do Jen trivia. Yeah. I told Jen I had to change my tampon, and she said, "I like you, Devin." Jen. Loves Fifth Army. Uh, Jen loves Sopranos. Jen has a hearty breakfast every day. Jen has two siblings. Jen loves sides, preferably hot Cheetos. Jen loves to throw her stuff on other people's desks. Jen actually really loves editing. Oh, Jen loves knives. And fire. And fire, yeah. Mm -hmm. Jen isn't afraid to step out of her comfort zone. Jen wants a dog. Jen loves to sit. I love, love to sit. Oh, Jen loves, loves to, to sit. sit. <laughs> this was fun. This was such a fun day. Yeah. Thanks, Did you have a good birthday? I had yeah. an amazing birthday. Yeah. And I'm very, I'm very grateful. Probably. This was really, really sweet. It was like too nice. Um, and ever, I, seriously, anytime anyone does anything nice for me, I'm always just like shocked that I just, I was like, I got very, I'm very lucky. I'm very grateful. Thank you. Oh, um, you deserve it, guys. I can't reach my wine. It's too far. Ooh, you should probably cut. Should we, should we cut? <laughs>